and welcome to Buzz TV. I'm your host, Adrienne Houghton, and we have got an exciting show for you today. There's everything from restaurants and charities and galleries and something for everyone, really family favorites. So watch this space and find out more on Buzz TV. Hello and welcome back to Around Town. I'm your host, Tiffany Howard. Very excited. We have Dr. Patel from Monaghan Chiropractic Care today. How, How are, are you doing? today? Good. Welcome. Thank you. So what type of people, what, what type of people should seek chiropractic care? So basically people that should seek chiropractic care, chiropractic care is a way of pain relief, which everybody knows. Um, but it also has, it's about a quality of life. So as we as we age, our body's ability to heal decreases where inflammation increases. Which inflammation can be controlled or monitored with chiropractic care. Think of a car. So if you buy a brand new car, it runs great because it's, it's still brand new. But it's like when you're young. When you're young, your ability to heal is a lot faster. And the rate is you can heal without no pain. You feel like Superman. But as you, as you get older, your body starts to deteriorate. And so you kind of fall apart. You're, the only difference between a body and a car, the car, if you don't maintain and don't properly do the oil change and proper maintenance, then eventually you're going to get a huge bill when it hits to 100,000 miles or 200,000 miles. The only problem with the body is the parts that you have, it already is damaged. You cannot replace them. When the mechanic repairs the parts, it runs great. But your body, you have to manage it as, as you get older. The bottom line is, as people get older. When they're young, they work hard for their money. They're to retire, to enjoy their life, to go traveling, go hiking, go things they, have, they skip throughout that busy lifestyle they had before to make that money. The thing is, in between that part, they neglect and abuse their body so much that they they can't enjoy that when they get older. Chiropractic care helps you get there, helps you have a better quality of life at the end. And that's all it's about. So chiropractic is really for everyone. Yes, but it depends on how much you need as well, too. Like, for people ask me, how much, how often do I need to come in? Well, it depends. Like, if you drag race a car, if you solely buy a sports car to drag race it, and you drag race that five times a week, then yes, you need that maintenance. Mm -hmm. If you drive to point A to point B, then you don't need to come much often. It depends, depends on what you do outside building and how much you want to maintain your body. By the advice, exercise, stretching, invest time in your body to, to tell you how much you need right. chiropractic care. So no such thing as too much chiropractic care. Well. <laughs> <laughs> so yes. tell us a little, uh, tell us what your office is known for. My office is known for a couple of things. Three, three things that I think that we're known for is reputation. One of them is reputation. We've been established for over 50 years. Monahan's been there for a very long time. We have three locations. We have Palm Coast, Palaka, and St. Augustine. We also, with Monaghan, when he started, he focused more on quality care than quantity care with patients. So we take he takes time to take account of the patients. Yes, we do the little x-rays. We do massage. We have laser. We have pretty much most of the things, annuities, so we can guide the patient where it needs to go. We also have a medical integrated practice. So our Besides primary care, we have IV infusions, which most people don't know what about much about IV infusions. Seeing those pop up all over yes. North Florida. Yes. So now it's a new thing. The reason it's a new thing because as we get older, our body is about ability to absorb decreases. Like minerals and vitamins, we can't get it as much as we want to because our digestive tract is, gets deteriorates over time. Mm -hmm. So with IV infusions, depends on what you need. We can inject it directly to your venous system to get the maximum absorption. The idea of the whole absorption is to get to your bloodstream, and that does directly with, with you, when you inject it with uh, IV infusions. So for people who don't know what an IV infusion is, basically like like you go to the hospital and you get a saline drip, yes. but, they, but they add they other add, minerals yes, and vitamins yes. to it. We have a lot of uh, cancer survivors that want to keep the immune system very high, so they get very, it's called chelation, they get mm -hmm. very, um, 
a long chelation, that's what they call it. So when it drips at a certain level, then you absorb that 100% in your body. Mm -hmm. So it keeps your immunity at its higher peak. But it's a an, it's, it's an new thing. It's a new thing. It's because people, the body's not the way it used to be. Our food is not the way it used to be. Our, our onions are like this big. Our apples are this big. It's mm -hmm. too sweet. If you go into any other country, you'll find that the food tastes differently. It's because it's, it's a different world that we live in, yes. different things we grow in. Right. Well, um, so you have offices in Palaka, St. Augustine. Yeah. And Palm Coast. And Palm Coast. Yes. Fantastic. And we also, uh, one of the other things that we do in our clinic is we specialize. So chiropractic is known for spine. I, my career is was saved through extremities. So I do a lot of extremity adjusting. So that would mean the spine, we, school teaches spine, School teaches you spine all day, but the part of extremity, it's hard to learn. They spend very little time on that. So when I, one of my professors told me that there are 206 bones in your body, 33 of which in your spine, that leaves 173 reasons why an extremity, extremity, what is extremity? Was elbow, shoulder, elbow, wrist, knee, hips, ankle. So those things in the TMJ, most people don't even think about TMJ. I have chronic headaches that are fixed with TMJ. I have sometimes the ankle pain could cause low back pain or the wrist pain could cause neck pain. So we look at it, if there's a bone, when you walk on my office, there's no bone that's unturned. That's kind of my model. If there is subluxation, I will fix mm -hmm. the subluxation and let the body do what it needs to do to heal itself. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for being with us thank today, you. Dr. Patel. And thank you so much for joining us. I'm your host, Tiffany Howens, Around Town. Remember to make today count. Greetings and welcome to the Jacksonville Buzz. I am your host, Adrienne Houghton. Now, back in 2019, I was delighted to be able to interview Markeisha Fuller, who is definitely the originator of the Jacksonville Dinner en blanc. We haven't had one since 2019, so we're going to talk a little bit about exactly what that event is, and I am delighted to welcome Markeisha here again. Thank you so much for having me. Welcome to the studio. Thank you. A lot has happened between 2019 and now. It has. So perhaps there's people out there who actually don't know what Diner en blanc is, so what is it? Le Diner en blanc is a elegant chic pop-up picnic. It originated in 1988 in Paris and it started with just a small group of friends and they met in a public place um, and they wore all white so that it would be easy to identify who their friends were dining nice. with them. And so now it takes place in over 80 cities, 30 countries, and it happens the exact same way worldwide. So I mean, this is, this is quite some concept, really, because <laughs> you have to be invited. Absolutely. And how do you get an invitation? So the first step to get the invitation is to get on our wait list. Okay. And anyone interested can get on our wait list by visiting jacksonville.diner en blanc. Dinner is spelled with one N, D-I-N-E-R, E-N-B-L-A-N-C dot com. Then they'll just go to the register tab and they will follow the steps. Once they get on the wait list, then the fingers are crossed to get a phase one, phase two, or phase three invite. <laughs> it sounds super complicated, but I know it's not. It's, it's particularly straightforward. So this is a pop-up dinner mm -hmm. at an undisclosed venue. Yes where everyone wears white and you have to be invited to come or you have to get onto a wait list? A little bit of both. Okay. First you get on the wait list and then you hope to get an invite. <sighs> so it is very, very exclusive, but we do want it to be inclusive. Yes. Um, but it's just a few steps, you know, that people would need to take. Um, last year we had just shy of 600 people, 582. This year, we are shooting for seven to 800 people is the expected number. Now, actually, we're talking about 2019, wasn't it? Because 2020. Yes. Oh, yes. 2019, missed, not last year. No, last year we had a little <laughs> bit of a hiccup. Um, but, but 2019, I remember coming to it and I was 
stunned at how incredibly elegant and how beautiful Aww. everything looked because every single person is in white. Yes. And then the decoration that people bring to put mm -hmm. on the tables. Now let's talk about that. They don't bring their chairs and tables, do they? They do. <laughs> So they bring everything. We, we bring everything to this elegant sheet pop-up picnic. We bring our table, which has to be a very specific size, which can be found on the website given previously. Right. Um, we bring our chairs. Everything doesn't have to be white, but if it's not white, it must be covered in white. So it's just easier to bring a table, white chairs, and they bring their decor. Um, and then they bring their food. Here in the state of Florida, you must pre-purchase your alcohol. Um, and so it's a wine and champagne event only. And so we, you know, show up together, we dine together, we party together, we clean up together, and then we go home together. I mean, and it's quite <laughs> incredible. And some of the decor of the tables. Fabulous. Stunning architectural pieces with, that are entwined with sparkly lights. And as the sun goes down, these lights come alive. Oh, and gosh. it's just amazing to see. And I think one of the, the most memorable parts of the event for me was then when everyone was the waving wave. their napkins. It is one of the magical moments that yeah people all over the world attend for. Yes. They attend for the napkin wave and they attend for the sparkler moment. Now with a waiting list, um, now do you already have a waiting list? Absolutely. Oh, you're kidding. We have well over a thousand. I won't give the specific number because I do not want people to say, oh no, I'm not gonna get in. You will, you will, you will. But we do have over a thousand people on our wait list. So for people who don't know, when is the venue actually announced? It is not. You walk <laughs> right up to it on the day of and you're led by one of our amazing volunteers. Um, even our volunteers do not know where the venue is until the very last moment. But it'll always be in a very um, just random place that this type of event would normally not, you know, happen. Right. So. Right. <laughs> now, what, the last time it was a little on the cool side. I know. It was very cold. And it, it was. was so strange because the day before it was warm, the day after yep. it was warm. And I said, hey, thank you, Florida, for this weather. Um, but it was a little bit on the cool side, but I rather the cool than the rain because was, it is a rain or shine that, event. <laughs> that, that's, that's for sure. And I have to say that there was one lady that had this magnificent white fur coat on. And yes. I think all of us wanted to climb inside <laughs> it because it just was like so clever. She was pure white. Yes. And that's another thing. It has to be pure white doesn't it? It's not ivory or just off-white, it's white white and to see a mass of that yes. is fantastic. Thank you for coming in. I'm sure we're going to have to do this again because yes. we need to know dates and Absolutely. there's so much more information I want to ask you and I know there's going to be a lot of questions coming. So Makisha, thank you so much for coming in and talking to us about it. Thank you for having me. You're very welcome. <laughs> And I know this is so exciting, but either Diner en Blanc or you can go to iwannabuzz.com for more information. Greetings and welcome for Caring for Seniors. I'm your host, Adrienne Houghton, and each week I sit down with the president of Oasis Senior Advisors Jacksonville, and that is Dave Stieglitz, and we talk all aspects of senior living from elder care financial planning through to housing and everything in between. And one of the topics is insurance. And today we are lucky enough to have in the studio Mr. Bill Green from the Green Insurance Agency. Welcome, gentlemen. Thank you. Good morning. So let's jump straight in. All right. You're an independent Medicare agent. Yes, ma'am. What is that? Uh, I help people navigate Medicare. Uh, when you go on, you're kind of bombarded with a ton of mail for some people a year straight. Yes. Uh, and they 
aren't sure what to do. Um, if you call into Social Security or Medicare, all they'll tell you is you have to pick a prescription plan to go with it. They, they're not allowed to tell you which plan or even help you pick it. Oh, that's really confusing. Yeah. How many companies are out there? How many do you represent? Uh, there are eight Medicare Advantage plans available in our area. I represent okay. seven of them. Okay. Uh, as far as Medicare supplements go, there are a ton. Uh, I represent about a dozen total. Okay. Crikey. Yeah. Wow. So what's new in Medicare? Uh, one of the biggest things, kind of started middle of last year, but really made big for this year, uh, is insulin. Uh, so diabetics who require insulin. Uh, for years and years, if somebody was on it, about the beginning of the year, they paid about $50 a month. Midway through the year, they'd spend $150 a month for a box of insulin pens. Now, depending on the plan they're on, um, thanks to the in Insulin Senior Savings Program, uh, they're capped at $35 a month for a box of insulin. That's so a big difference. It wow. is. It is a huge difference. Yeah. I had people tell me that they were sharing insulin with their friends because they couldn't afford it. So, in fact, n nobody was getting the correct dosage. They were just, like, yeah. eking it out. Those people who are in that oh. situation, yeah. Wow. Wow. That's, I mean... It, it's got to be one of the problems with aging. It is. And so when you have people come to you and they're, they say, I, I have no idea, do you actually have to basically sit down with them and say, explain to me your circumstances. What medications do you need? Do you need any medications? You know, and th does that help you in guiding them through the, the melee, as it were? <laughs> it definitely does. And that's one of the first questions I ask is, uh, what kind of medical conditions do you have? Uh, who are your doctors, and what medications do you take? Nice. Those those three things guide which way we're going to go with Medicare. Uh, I'll still, still do a basic, this is what it is, how it works. And then from there, uh, I'll always show both sides. You mm -hmm. can pick whichever one you want. But I'll, recommend it, I'll make a recommendation of, based on your health, your situation, this or this is probably a better fit. Awesome. Yeah. So you mentioned, you know, with the, the companies you represent, so many... Medicare Advantage plans, so many supplement plans. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it still confuses me to this day. What, <laughs> um, should I be on a supplement plan? Should I be on an Advantage plan? There's also just straight Medicare. Mm -hmm. What are the differences and what drives you know, the best direction? So there's no one cut and dry answer. Um, just, <laughs> of course not. Of course not. <laughs> that, that's why there's options. Um, original Medicare is what you get. Uh, you have access to at age 65 or if you're disabled or you uh, have certain um, major medical issues like uh, ALS or end-stage renal disease, you can go on early. Uh, as far as original Medicare, um, A and B, that is where you just get it automatically at 65 due to disability. And for some people who are uh, who have Medicaid, some, depending on their situation, that may actually be a better fit for them. Um, a Medicare Advantage plan, uh, generally, they have no additional premium. Some plans do charge, but you have copays. It's kind of like major medical insurance you've been used to. Uh, you pay a copay for essentially everything you do. Uh, whereas a Medicare supplement, you do pay an additional premium, but then you have very little, if nothing, out of pocket. Uh, with the Medicare supplement, you have to purchase a separate prescription drug plan with a Medicare Advantage. They're usually built in. Yeah, okay. Already, so, already, right. I'm like, oh. yeah. So actually today I'm doing an hour-long seminar on just that. So you can't explain it to us in 30 seconds or less? Yeah. No. Okay, 15 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> right. It's, I, the, there's a difference in premiums out there as well. There are. And, and how do you know? I mean, you say you have options, mm -hmm. but how do you know what is the best option for you? Can you go through a year or half a year and say, this isn't working, I need to switch? So that's one of those depends answers. <laughs> so if you have a Medicare Advantage plan, uh, you have two times the year where you can make a change. One is October 15th to December 7th, when someone on Medicare is just being bombarded with uh, mail and phone calls and all over TV, you can't miss it. That's when most people make a change. Uh, whereas also there's what's called the open enrollment period for Medicare. It's not advertised. We can't tell people about it. It's more of if somebody is on a plan and they're not happy with it and they find an agent, we can talk to them. Uh, they can change plans then. Uh, for a Medicare supplement, uh, you can change that any month out of the year you want to. So if you are unhappy with your level of service or your premium, you can change that year-round. Uh, as far as the difference in premiums, if you have a lettered plan, what's called a Medicare supplement, the schedule of benefits, what it has to cover, 
is set by the federal government. There is no difference in coverage from one to the other. Oh, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. hmm. So if you look at the, the swing in premiums, you can pay almost $100 more for one company versus another, and your level of coverage is the same. Interesting. So yeah. still confusing still, I know, then. I know. Still confusing. I know you've helped me a lot. I've had clients uh, when I'm working on their budgets to, mm -hmm. to help them afford senior housing and assisted living. And we go over their expenses. And I find, you know, some are paying a couple hundred bucks for their Medicare and their and their plans and stuff. And I come across some that are paying eight hundred, nine hundred dollars. And, you know, you've been wonderful when I say, Hey, you need to talk to my buddy Bill and let him, you'll do a review of their plan and say, well, yeah, this is really the best plan for you or possibly yeah. uh, find some options for them. Um, and, and But sometimes that $600, $800 plan is the best thing for them. Talk about that a little bit. So this, the, the super high price plans, uh, it could be that they don't qualify to change plans. To mm -hmm. change a, a paid plan, you generally have to answer health questions. Uh -huh. uh, unless you are on say a group retiree plan uh, or depending on how it works, if you move across county lines or especially across state lines, mm -hmm. you may have an opportunity to change plans at that point. Wow. There are certain events that can take place in your life that make you eligible to change an mm -hmm. Advantage plan without waiting for open enrollment, correct? That is correct. Uh, the most common one we run into uh, is someone who may not have a whole lot in the way of uh, income and assets. Uh, if they qualify for any level of extra help, either through the federal government or the state, they can change their plan once every three months. Um, if someone is, move, again, moves across county lines, that's a very common one. Uh, if someone is working past age 65, which is happening more and more, where people are continuing to work because they either have a spouse they need to cover or they want to maximize their Social Security, that allows them to enroll in any plan they want coming off group coverage. I'm still confused. I know. So, <laughs> well, and we talk, so someone's coming and, and, and what are the questions people should be asking about their Medicare coverage and, and, and you know, to, to get the best, what should people be looking for to, to know yeah. that they're in the right plan? Uh, it's funny you say the word best. According to Medicare, I'm not allowed to say the word best. <laughs> okay. Which it does, makes no sense. There's a lot of things I can't say. I can't say the word best. can't say the word free when I'm talking okay. about Medicare. Uh, as far without as, charge? <laughs> that's exactly it. No yeah. cost, no charge. Okay. Um, things to look for uh, is, are your doctors going to be in the network? Um, your medications covered? Are you going to travel? Uh, would you rather pay a monthly premium and not have to worry about paying as you go? Or would you rather save that money monthly and pay as you go? Uh, and lastly, one thing to, cons to look at and consider is working with an agent, uh, myself or any other agent, there is no cost to you. Whether you go direct to an insurance company or you go through uh, someone like me, no premium difference. The difference is if you have an issue or a question, instead of you calling into an 800 number, you can call uh, me, and that's what we do for you. That's part of the service. And then you have a personal uh, connection yeah. with the people, exactly. and the advice is somebody you can trust as opposed mm -hmm. to somebody on the end of the phone. A local expert. Yes, yeah. local expert. That's I like good. that concept, yeah. local experts. That is nice. <laughs> yes. Um, a lot of these supplemental plans have uh, like renew rewards and, and encouragements and incentives for people. Can you talk a little bit about that? Uh, so those are primarily built into the Medicare Advantage plans. Uh, they call them e extra benefits. Uh, and it can be a gym membership. It can be dental. Uh, it can be glasses. Dental's extra? <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, so <laughs> it's a speciality. <laughs> it's like, we all need teeth. Oh, yeah. <laughs> It, uh, it depends on the plan. Uh, right. Medicare is a lot of it depends. Uh, and so dental, vision, gym memberships uh, for the people who maybe have a lower income, some of the plans this year actually give them a card every month for food. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, it's people who have a, a lower income and need help, need that kind of help. Mm -hmm. um, on the supplemental side, uh, there is one company that does offer gym membership, uh, but most of them don't. Interesting. Yeah. So, so that that for somebody who's active mm -hmm. probably would be something to guide them towards because then they can it certainly keep could. fit for free. Yeah. Oh, sorry, at no charge. No charge. You, you said free. I can't. Ah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. But it's the same thing, right? Oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> and and 
on average, um, the clients that come to you, do you find them totally confused or they know where they want to go? Uh, it's gotten... I know, I'm... <laughs> Sorry, I'm... because I'm totally confused. That's what it's all about. It, it's gotten uh, where people are starting to do more of their own research. Yeah. Uh, I'd say it's, it's about 50-50 still. So some people just know nothing and they want to be educated from the very beginning. Others have done a ton of research and uh, know a plan or two they want to look at or they, they've known enough where they, they have good questions. Gosh. And the five questions that seniors should be asking or should have prepared? Uh, so that's the, the, are my doctors in the plan? Right. Are my medicines covered? Okay. Uh, Going to travel. That, that's a big thing. If someone travels, depending on the plan they have, uh, they may or may not have out, access outside of just emergency and ER care. Mm -hmm. uh, with Medicare, uh, almost any health insurance plan, if you're traveling, urgent care and emergency room is, is going to be covered at in network cost. Um, and then again, as you're going on, talk to an agent. Uh, there's no cost for it, and they, almost everyone, everyone I talk to uh, has found a value in something I'm able to add to them that they hadn't found on their own. I'm sure there's going to be somebody out there that actually wants to talk to you. Mm -hmm. So how do they find you? Uh, you can go to my website. It's uh, greeninsagency.com, or you can call me at 904-717-1176. Wonderful. Is there anything else that you'd like to let people know that we haven't covered? Uh, so Medicare is the bulk of what I do. Uh, I also help folks with regular health insurance. Uh, so as of today, uh, the healthcare marketplace is open, uh, and it will be open through August 15th. Uh, the there's been some adjustments to it where people are getting very low cost health insurance. Uh, I'd say almost half people I meet with are paying less than fifty dollars a month for their health insurance. Oh wow! wow. Yeah, it's getting there. Yes, it's getting yes. there yes. slowly but surely. Yes. yes. Well, it's a pleasure meeting you, you too. and thank and, you. and thank you for coming in and, and talking to us. And I hope that we've helped a few seniors out there to understand what's going on in the insurance business. I hope thank so too. You. Yeah. Thank you. And don't forget, if you need any more information at all, you can always find it on iwantabuzz.com. Wow, that was fantastic. What a great show and what interesting businesses. Don't forget, if you need any more information, you can go to iwantabuzz.com. Bye for now.